One of the many benefits of attending baseball games at Dietrich Park is you never know who you're likely to meet. That uh, you shouldn't live in the past. It's dangerous. But to visit it is a, just a, a wonderful experience. This is a gift from, from God they gave to me because uh, a year earlier, August uh, 11th, uh, 1990, my wife uh, lost a baby. It was a boy. He died that day, August 11, 1990. Mm -hmm. So August 11, 1991, I truly don't hear it. That's why I, if you see the highlights, I don't even jump. I was, the baby was in my mind sure. after the, right after the game. I got the last out, and I just look home and say, thank you, God, for this. And that, that was it. After that, all I, I felt all the guys all over me. Yeah. It, it was great. It was real good. As you were going into that last inning, was there a sense of nervousness or was there a calm? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even notice I was throwing no hit into the seventh inning when uh, Lance uh, Johnson in center field died for the ball. Yeah. He, he, do, he do from the ball, like, uh, right center field. When he catch a ball and left you know, his glove, that's where the scoreboard was, right there. So when he left his glove, I'm like, hey, they don't have any hits yet. And that's when the, my heart started pumping real fast. Right. And so I, I finish the inning and I sit down and I look at the scoreboard again. I said, they got no hits. I was like, my God, what's going on here, you know? Right. And I, that's when I started getting a little nervous, and I, I just went, don't look over there no more. I just look down, just look down, watch the game, and that's it, and just let it go. Just relax, let it go. And and we went to the eighth, and I went back to the dugout, and I was like, come on, come on, just relax. Don't look at it. Don't get nervous. Just just, just keep doing what you're doing right now, and, and it happens. Yeah. Did the players talk to you at all, or did they stay away no, from you? No, no, they stayed away from me the whole time. Yeah. I was curious about that, whether... The, the no, there's always that way. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you throw a no-hitter, everybody start just getting even farther and farther, <laughs> you know. And that's the way it goes. Went out there and think about, you know, the baby and and worry about, is this, is this gonna happen like I did in Texas? I can't get nobody out. Right. You know, I, will, I was worrying about that stuff. Right. I was thinking about, the, like I said, the baby again, and I don't even look at the game, you know, like what it's supposed to do. I just, I just go out there and do the best I can. Were they able to hear their, your, the no-hitter on radio, or did, did you No, just they watch it on TV. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Televised, yeah. They used to do it like, like one game a week, every Sunday. Right. And they were televised, and no matter why, if I, if I was pitching or not. And they, I, I got lucky, well, they got lucky that was, that was just, I was pitching that day. Well, how exciting. It was just, it happens, you know. Yeah. Like, I, like I said before, you know, God gave me that gift. What's the highlight of your career? I say the complete game in, in, against the Blue Jays. Mm -hmm. Playoffs, right. 1993, through complete game, we were, we were down, you know, like two, two nothing. They two wins. We, we, we had, you know, we don't have any wins. And I, I threw a complete game, and and I think that was the best ever. But when the series moved to Toronto, Chicago rallied behind Wilson Alvarez to win Game Three. Well, thank you very well, much. Thank I you. Really appreciate it.